And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the hill. Well, that road I was on dead ended, and then I got in a, almost an altercation with a few dogs. Had to like kick at one of them, almost got bit again, I think. Okay, I found this little road around the corner by the restaurants. This is looking promising. We're getting there, boys and girls. It's just blocked now, but he said go to the church and turn. I don't see a church, but this sure seems like the spot. There's a nice one, nice old Nissan. So I think I'm supposed to go up here and maybe there will be a church where I turn. Okay, there's the church. We found it, guys. All you gotta do is keep asking. Just keep honing in. You don't have to understand all the directions. Just understand enough to go on the road that you're supposed to get on immediately. And just keep on trucking. You see this stuff everywhere, man. I guess they gotta store this stuff somewhere, but... I don't know. It always seems like the least expected places. That's it. I see a bunch of uh, rides and stuff. I don't know, maybe this is actually set up here for some kind of holiday or something. We are getting close to uh, Independence Day here. That could be what this is about. Pretty cool. Pretty church. I like what they did with the flowers. That's really cool. But the clock's off. That always bugs me when I see the uh, the clock towers that are like... It's like, come on guys, don't you have a local clockmaker guy? Maybe that's what I should do in my retirement. Because it's not like 3 in the afternoon. Or 2 something, whatever that said. That would be a cool thing for me to do. Learn... <laughs> Where would I even learn that these days? How to fix a clock from... 200 years ago or something in a clock tower be climbing up there they wouldn't even have proper scaffolding or ropes I'd be like uh, hanging on to some rickety ladder trying to fix a clock this is cool guys this is pretty curious I was on all these little back roads and then it's like I just found the town center that's uh, surrounding this church back here I think I found it guys this has got to be the road that goes up there I'm gonna sit down probably right here. I knew this was gonna take a long time, so I brought a couple meals with me. Like I said, it's already been <laughs> a long time, three hours or something since I started this whole mission. I've been doing meal prep here in Mexico. Save some money, but even more to eat healthier. I got some sardines and rice here. I get them from this company called uh, Guimax or sometimes Calmex. They sell really big ones. And just one of these huge sardines with some rice is a really good meal. flies though. All fueled up and ready for the climb. <laughs> I have no idea how long this is going to take. It was hard for me to get a sense of scale without being able to get super close to it until now. I think maybe I can get up there in an hour. I don't know. We'll see. It's 11:30 now. I think I found my dream property guys. Look at this. How cool is that? I don't know that you would quite get this view right out of there, but that's really neat. At last, the trail. I gotta tell you guys, stuff like this is a big reason I travel. Being able to go find something you see way in the distance when you're in some faraway land and don't know the language and don't know, have a good map or know how to get there and just figuring it out. And it's so rewarding when you can actually do that. Oh, 
This is interesting. <laughs> These folks behind me really didn't expect to see me. <laughs> Just seeing the look on their faces when they saw my head pop up over the side of that. And <clears throat> back there laughing and talking about the gringo. <laughs> yeah, this is really gonna be pretty. Let me get up here, guys. It's really steep. I did one little piece like that right back there going up to where I saw those people. Yeah, this is a very crude trail. It's not that bad going up. It's just really steep. But going down could be really interesting. But already, oh my god. I think I'm only halfway. They're about this one made me sit down. That's legit, guys. Billy Goat Burson doesn't sit down on trails. <laughs> Unless he really has to. <sighs> My heart rate had to have been 140 just then. But it's getting more and more beautiful looking out there. I'll show you the view from the very top. We made it, guys. <sighs> His hand looks really big. Now you gotta put graffiti on a religious monument. Especially in a Catholic country. I've never seen that before, honestly. Like no matter where I go in Mexico, no matter how rough the neighborhood is, they'll have these little uh, ded dedications, altars, I guess you would call them. I don't know what the word in Spanish is. For, you know, Jesus or Mary. Look, there's even, they even graffiti on him. If you look just above his waist, you can see it just above his waist. Um, her his robe hangs down. So yeah, no matter how rough the neighborhood, wherever you see those altars, there's never any graffiti or vandalism. They do have uh, protection, so at the very least they won't get uh, stolen or anything, the statues and things. But uh, yeah, that's really weird, man. I gotta ask Guillermo or somebody what they think about that. It's, I mean, it's just solid graffiti. All the way around this thing. I see maybe uh, there might just be some discoloration on his sleeve. But yeah, it sure looked like they painted him too. And they just scrubbed it off the best they can. You know, red paint, I think, is supposed to be some of the worst. And you can still see it on him. And it only took 15 minutes to get up here. So let's go see if I can find Popo Tecla and the volcano for you. Not over here. There. I think that must be it. It's quite hazy in that direction. I guess that's downtown. Yeah, it's not the clearest day. It'd be really cool to come up here when it was more clear. I think it's somewhere back in that direction. We just can't see it because the clouds. Still a really nice view though of Puebla, Mexico, the fourth largest city in Mexico. And the cool thing about coming up somewhere like this is I see what appears to be a pretty big lake out there. So I've got to investigate that. Maybe that'll be our next mission.